everybody, Ricky HD coming back at you. And today I'm coming with something that I've been asked a lot. I get asked a lot here at the shop. And I know a lot of people have been wondering, what exactly does Milwaukee 8 mean? What does that mean? What is that motor? The predecessor was this twin cam. Of course, that's pretty self-explanatory. Twin cam, two cams, whoop-de-whoop. -whoop. But what is a Milwaukee 8? So the easiest way to put it is that inside of the heads, which are located on top of here, these are called the rocker boxes. These are the heads. Inside of there, before, there was two valves, right? So the, there's a valve in the front, in the rear, and that goes exhaust and intake. So in the Milwaukee 8 heads inside of here, there's four valves, two spark plugs, as well as two uh, fuel injectors. So when you have the four valves per head, what it does is increases your intake and it also increases your exhaust, which increases your power, torque, all that. So the reason it's called the Milwaukee 8 is because it has four valves per head. Four plus four equals eight. Now, when it comes from the factory, you're gonna have the stock box, the air box, and you're gonna have the stock exhaust with a cat and all sorts of stuff. When you take that off and you do a stage one, a stage one is you're gonna do an intake, you're gonna do a tuner, and you're also gonna do pipes. When you do the stage one, you unlock that motor because now it can force a lot of air in there and it can get rid of it really quickly without anything interrupting it, and that's where the power comes in. So if you have a 107 or a 114 and you're like, man, it's not as, as great as I thought it'd be, do a stage one, unlock it, and I'm telling you, it will be incredible. Next question about the Milwaukee 8s is how come it's so versatile? The reason I love the Milwaukee 8s is because you can take a 107 to a 124, a 114 to a 128, you got 117s, 119s, 131s, and now they're making 151s out at a place I'm not gonna mention, but they're making 151 Milwaukee 8s using the same heads, the same hardware, once you get up to the certain level of performance, you're gonna to have to change out some stuff like throttle bodies, you're gonna to have to change, you know, you're gonna to have to get port and posh, you're gonna to have to do a lot of things. But for the average Joe like you and I, taking a 107 to a 124 or 114 to a 128 is simple. You keep all of your stock components. The heads are versatile. Everything you can use. The only thing you're gonna change out is you're gonna change out your pistons, which change out the stroke, and that's it. It's very simple. The twin cams, you couldn't do that. You can go, you could take the twin cam up to a 120, or so like that, but then after that, you have to change everything out. The Milwaukee 8s are incredible, and those heads, if you know anything about the heads, the Milwaukee 8 heads are nasty. So, with that said, if you have any questions, you already know, DM me, message me, hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on Facebook, hit me up here, I don't care. I wanna be here for you, I wanna answer questions, because that's one of the most frequent questions I've been asked, is why is it called the Milwaukee 8? So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for listening. Thank you for checking me out. Thank you for supporting. I really appreciate it. Peace.